What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're going to talk about iOS 12 jailbreaks and untethers. So just a few days ago a person has posted on their Twitter, quote, for anyone wondering, I'm not releasing a new jailbreak tool for iOS 12, I'm working on an untether and I'm trying to make it compatible with Uncover because we don't need a new tool. Pound on already made the best and only tool we need for iOS 12. So this person in here, Chris, is saying that he is indeed working on building an untethered jailbreak for iOS 12.0 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2. And how he's going to do that? Well, he's going to use a vulnerability that is already available. Now, of course, I'm very skeptical and this video is nothing but an informative video to basically tell you, well, there is somebody who is going to use this vulnerability and he's saying he's going to attempt to create an untethered jailbreak, but there is nothing more than this. There is nothing really proven for the moment. Anyways, I'm actually skeptical and basically in a conversation a few days ago with this person in here and many others, I basically asked him, well, how are you going to do an uncover? that is untethered, what are you going to use? And he was actually backed by another person here on Twitter. But anyways, he said, quote, he's talking about the user and exploit created from the iOS 12.1.3 POC, which is proof of concept, which attacks a system diamond that runs at boot to achieve persistency and untether. And I don't care if someone else goes out and uses that info to do it because I'm not in a race to finish it. Anyway, so he's basically saying that he is building an untether for the uncover. Now, the vulnerability he's talking about is this one in here, which is indeed compatible with older iOS 12 versions as well, not only iOS 12.1.3, and this one has been used basically as a zero day for a long time. Now if you take a look in here, and I talked about this vulnerability in my previous video, this is actually a pretty hefty one, and it's actually a persistent vulnerability. Now there is a difference between persistent vulnerability and persistent jailbreak. The vulnerability itself is indeed untethered, but it's not enough to create a jailbreak that is untethered. And this one in here is actually just a vulnerability with a proof of concept. The proof of concept is basically a snippet of code which allows you to do something you know, by triggering that vulnerability. And in this case, it basically crashes a diamond, but nothing more than that. You would need to create a proper exploit in order to use this properly and for good reason. Now, he basically explained to me in a DM what he's going to do and what he's trying to do, and his idea might as well work. However, has not been verified. So, of course, I am indeed skeptical, especially since he doesn't have any public contributions to the uncover or to any other jailbreak and I never heard of this person before. However, many of you told me I should give him a chance, especially since he seemed to be very adamant that his method will work and he also seems to be very confident of his method. And of course, many of you told me that it might as well work because of this vulnerability in here, which is basically what separates him from the other untether attempts in the past that never came to fruition. So he is indeed helped by the fact that there is indeed a vulnerability that is actually pretty powerful and can be used for a jailbreak. Here in this report by Zekops, they posted, quote, analysis and reproduction of iOS and OS 10 vulnerability CVE 2019-7286. And in the TLDR section, they said in here, quote, CVE 2019-7286 was exploited in the wild. The vulnerability seems to be of critical severity and could have been used potentially also to maintain persistence after reboots. And this is what he basically plays upon, the fact that the vulnerability itself does allow a degree of persistence, which can indeed be useful for an untethered jailbreak. And then they say here, Zekops were able to reproduce this vulnerability with POC code below, and the vulnerability could be used to escape privileges to root as part of a chain for jailbreak on iOS 12.1.3. This is a vulnerability in foundation and has been found by Ian Beer and many others in here and reported to Apple. Now, this is not a kernel exploit and with it, you cannot do anything special. You no, know, you have to combine it. That's why they mention it here as part of a chain for jailbreak. However, what Chris is trying to do is to basically use Uncover, which already has a kernel exploit, already has post-exploitation, already has anything that is needed and just create the untether, which is basically the persistence part of the Uncover. 
Now, for those of you who do not know, an untethered jailbreak is a jailbreak that doesn't require you to reapply it after reboot, so I decided to give him the benefit of the doubt after some of you told me here on Twitter in my discussion with him that I should definitely give him the benefit of the doubt. So that's what I'm doing and I decided to announce you about it so that you can follow him and, you know, stay close to see exactly what's going on, how it unfolds, but for the moment remain skeptical because there have been many failed untethers in in the past. However, he is backing up on this vulnerability here, CVE 2019-7286, which does have a degree of persistence which can be useful for his matter. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated, I am Gio Snow, until the next time, peace out.